Hi guys, hope you're having a great day today. This is the fourth in our I Am series. It is I Am the Gate for the Sheep. So before we start our lesson though, we always do our highs and our lows. So I encourage you guys as a family to go through what are your highs and your lows so far today? Or if it's early in the morning, what are your highs and lows throughout the day before? And then after we go through our Bible lessons and play our games, you can be sure to do prayers and um, blessings and include those highs and lows in your prayers. So um, let's see, my high for the day is probably that I got to go running this morning. Even though it was in between the yuck, I still got to go running. So my low for the day is the yuck outside. It's not a very beautiful day out, but that's okay. We'll get a few more beautiful days coming up here. So today we're going to do our Bible readings out of the International Children's Bible. And the reason for this, it's a little more inclusive, includes all ages, easy to understand. And we're going to read John chapter 10, verses 2 through 10. The one who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. The man who guards the door opens it for him. And the sheep listen to the voice of the shepherd. He calls his own sheep using their names, and he leads them out. He brings all of his sheep out. Then he goes ahead of them and leads them. They follow him because they know his voice. But they will never follow a stranger. They will run away from him because they don't know his voice. Jesus told the people this story, but they didn't understand what it meant. So Jesus said again, I tell you the truth. I am the door for the sheep, meaning I am the gate for the sheep. All the people who came before me were thieves and robbers. The sheep did not listen to them. I am the door, or I am the gate. The person who enters through me will be saved. He will be able to come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes to steal and kill and destroy. But I came to give life in all its fullness. So let's talk about that and what it means. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I do not have a lot of sheep in my neighborhood. I have houses and a park and a school and a library and a grocery store down the way, but I do not have a lot of sheep. And even if I did, I think it would look very different than what it did, looked back then. So back in Jesus's time, people would build a pen for the sheep to sleep in at night out of rocks. So they would make like a stone wall and this stone wall would go all the way around until you got to the doorway. And the doorway was completely open for people to go in and out of and for sheep to go in and out of. So the shepherd would lead the sheep there at night with the purpose of protecting them, protecting them from predators, protecting them from thieves, um, protecting them from anything that might harm them in any way. But if the shepherd just walked away and left, the sheep wouldn't be very protected, would they? They would just walk out and a predator might get them or another person might come and steal them because they would just be wandering around or they might just walk right in. So what the shepherd did is the shepherd would lay down in that opening and that way nothing could get in to harm the sheep because he was there protecting them. And Jesus is saying that he will do the same thing for us. So just like, Jesus, just like the shepherds would protect the sheep no matter what, Jesus will protect us the same way. And just like the shepherds, were the whole life to the sheep. So the sheep, they couldn't get water unless the shepherds led them there or let them out of the pen to go to get the water. They couldn't get to the pastures or get to the fresh grass to eat or the fresh clovers unless the shepherd led them there. So the sheep loved the shepherd because the shepherd took care of them. And Jesus takes care of us the same way. He gives us everything we need. He gives us our food, our water. He protects us. He gives us those things that we sometimes take for granted. So let's not forget to say thank you today for those things and feel grateful for those things and for the protection that we are given. 
and to remember that when we're very worried and when we're very scared and upset, to remember the times that Jesus took care of us. All of those things that we were so scared and worried about that turned out just fine. And remind ourselves that a lot of times things go in a way we would like. They don't always go bad. And trust in Jesus and know that we're taken care of. So that is our lesson for the day. Now, we do have a game for you guys to play. And this is for everybody in the house. And you will need um, areas that are either taped off or hula hoops. Now, let's say you have three people in your house. Let's say you've got a mom, a dad, and a daughter. So in that case, you're going to have three hula hoops on the ground, or I realize you can't really see pen, so let's draw this in pen. Or let's say three areas taped off, and one is mom's sheet pen and dad's sheet pen and the daughter's sheet pen. And then you need some sheep. So let's say each of you get 10 sheep, or maybe as small as three sheep, however many sheep you think you would like to have. You can do this cotton balls. You can take pieces of paper and crumble them up. Or you can actually go to the trouble to make sheep. And let's see if I can do this. Not artistic, so bear with me. Hopefully you can see this. I'm going to start out with our sheep. Big fluffy looking sheep there. And he's got some hair on his head. And two ears. And finish off his face that way and give my sheep two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Oh, and we cannot forget, he needs legs. Now, I never claimed to be an artist, but <laughs> you can see where you could easily make your own sheep. If I can make the sheep, you can too. Fluffy cloud looking thing, a little blob of hair, two ears, an oval, two dots, a smile for a nose and two little um, you know, lines for the mouth and your four legs. And you can give each person, let's say five sheep and set a timer, let's say for three minutes. And at the end of the three minutes, you want to see how many people, or I'm sorry, who has the most sheep. So let's say mom runs to steal a sheep from dad and the daughter can run and steal the sheep from mom. And you can make these areas with tape or hula hoops or whatever it may be in completely different rooms. You can make them in one room. You can make them on different floors. If the weather gets better, you can go outside and do it. And basically you wanna to try to get as many sheep as you can, whether it be cotton balls or drawn sheep or whatnot in the time allotted. So have fun. And I think we'll end with a prayer and blessings because we always do. So dear Lord, I pray that everybody who is watching this and everybody who is unable to watch this are able to hear your voice and feel your peace and know that you are there to take care of them. And I pray that everybody stays safe and um, stay safe, stays healthy, and is able to follow your lead and follow your guidance. In your name we pray. Amen. Blessings to all of you. I hope you have a great day.